Hello chaps and lady, I've got a review for you. Hello chaps and lady, I've now got a review for you of what I'm good about to build next. Uh, it's the Airfix. One set of seconds fail. B2C um, reconnaissance aircraft and trainer. Um, before I go with the review, I just want to say a huge thank you to Emily Hewton at, at Hornby Hobbies and Airfix and, and Adam at Airfix. Airfix have provided me this kit for free. However, they have not told me what to do or say. Um, they have not paid me to tell me. They have not told. They have not for free. However, they have not paid. They have not paid me or tell me what to do or say regarding this they just want to see um um i just want i just want to um see my talent i think um and obviously thank you to alex that is my godfather um that arranged all this and yeah so let's get on with the review um for this build series, the shout outs are most likely going to be done at the end of the video. So I'll see, you, I'll, I'll, like I say, I'll do that all then. All right. All right. Let's go on with the review. However, let's get on with power. Was on. Right. Um, right. So actually, let's have a look at the box art. Box art. Obviously, you got your BTC flying high above the clouds. Uh, you also you got the the pilot and the instructor, uh, the the trainee pilot and the instructor there. And also you get two schemes, you get the, the checkered scheme, and then you get the more plain uh, scheme. Um, so, yeah. And obviously that's your, there's your side profile, a bit of info on the box, and um, and the two colour schemes. There's your, in, there's your front page instructions. It's also got the history of the aircraft in, in English, French, and German. Technical specifications in aircraft, technical specifications in, in, in English, French, and German again. Uh, um, Airfix logos, Hornby Hobbies logos, obviously. Um, I'm sorry, I'm saying, uh, but I haven't really done the reviews. Now, those of you who know me very well, who subscribed to me for the channel for a long time, you will know I do the review. Uh, when I do the reviews, I go through the instructions. So I want to keep this as short as possible and as professional as possible and do this more professionally from now on. Um, that, is, that is page one of construction which covers the seat the the putting the seats in the seats in this the back set the back um the front the back no not the front not the one of the two uh set of um struts in Spar struts things, whatever you want to call them. Um, pilots are optional. Front set of struts, spar, upper wing spar, upper upper wing, and fitting the the wings the wing struts to the wings. Now the unique the way they've done this is they give you a jig which you do not glue in place. They just you just you, they, you just put it on the wing. You just put it on the wing to um, to obviously to guide the, the to guide the pieces 
the struts into place. Tail plane, the rudder. You get two options of rudder, two op two rud two op two options of rudder. So the, that whether you're doing the A or the B version, rudder. Um, well, actually, I mean, when I say rudder, you get two options of horizontal or vertical stabilizer for whatever version you're doing. Rudder, tail skid, engine, engine, en engine, engine mounting front the the box, the little box, the, the little the 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 the, the, no, the front the front of the bit where the engine ramp what mounts mounts into, and then also you get the engine. Um, the engine, which is actually quite rare to get a, to get an engine on a one second, second scale kit, particularly an inline engine, um, which consists of the two cylinder banks, putting the two cylinder banks onto the onto the lower crankcase, putting on the and putting in the the air induction the induction manifold, and the and the and the cut and, and the cover for the air induction manifold. Putting the completed engine into the to the engine frame, the engine mount to the engine mount frame, and then putting the top wing, uh, the top, the bottom, the the fuselage onto the bottom wing, canopies, top wing onto bottom wing, engine onto onto the bottom onto the onto the frame, airframe, tie down the bits that you can, the bits the underneath the bits underneath the wing that you can use to tie down the um tie the aircraft down photo reconnaissance camera if you're doing the b version landing gear landing gear landing gear struts together attaching the landing gear wheels putting the landing gear onto the airframe onto the airframe putting the propeller together and putting the propeller onto the airframe and then rather handfully and then rather kindly and handfully by airfix they give you the di the diagram to do the rigging um paint options you get two options you get top one is the top one is of is is Royal Aircraft Bellet Bellerio Experimental 2C Turnhouse Aerodrome Royal Flying Corps Edinburgh Scotland 1916 and then the second one is Royal Squadron Royal Flying Corps Mariu Mar Mar France September 1915. I am going to be going for the Turnhouse Squad uh, Turnhouse Aerodrome squat uh, color scheme because obviously it just looks a lot more um, pretty, I suppose. I mean the, the the twelve squadron runs a lot more simpler and easier, but out of the two, the, the turnhouse squadron scheme looks a lot more prettier. If that makes sense. Right. Now let's have a look at the sprues. Right, so the first sprue. First sprue that I've got is the you got the propeller. Um, you got the propeller. The you got the propeller. The front. The very the very the very front. Um, The very front, the front, um, the front. Oh, come on, get come on, front me. The front set of spark struts and instrument and the and the instrument. What I've now presumed to be an instrument panel with it. The rear instrument panel set. Instrument panel set. Uh, at the rear, the rear spar, the rear sets of. The rear set of the rear, um, 
the rear the rear struts along with the the pa instrument panel which you get a decal for which you do get a decal for i believe it's for Just let me check the instructions again yeah you do get a decal for it it's You do get a you you do deco get a decal for that side there, um, and then you got you've got a bit of detail on that side of the spar there. Tail planes, nicely done fabric texture on both the top side and the underside, and you've got what looks to be raised screw heads or rivet raised screw heads or raised rivet heads whatever um now i have noticed where you put the where you put the decal uh where you put the decal on there is there is an ejector pin there is an ejector pin I don't know if that's if that's actually supposed to be an ejector pin, an ejector an ejector pin, or whether it's supposed to help you locate the, uh, the second decal that goes on here, that goes on this that goes on this part of the that goes on this post here. Um. Then you've got the fuselage, which you've got the guides. You have the guides for the, the cockpit floor and the instrument panel pieces are all are, and the instrument panel piece and the instrument panel pieces as well as the the, 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 uh, the struts as well on the inside. On the outside, you've got a few raised details, a few raised details. Um, the fabric covering, the fabric texture down the back is nicely done, not overly done. Um, details is nice, crisp and sharp. Is nicely crisp and sharp as well on both sides, on both sides of the fuselage half. So that's the two fuselage charges and the engine and the propeller. The two fuselage charges, the struts and the the struts for the top wing and the propeller. Second screw consists of the the top wing. Well, the dot actually it doesn't consist of the top wing. It consists of the bottom wing. I think. Yeah. Top, yeah. It's the bottom. It consists of the bottom wing. Consists of the t the bottom wing, the cockpit floor, the engine firewall bulkhead, the engine lower engine cowlings one of the rudder pieces um one of the control columns various pieces not all of them i know about um some of the some of the components for the cockpit for the cockpit for the cockpit Some of these components are for the cockpit, um, and others are for the other kit that they do of the, the other B two C night fighter version kit of this. Interesting. There's a bit the the, the landing struts are broken there, so I'm going to have to repair those. Um, the tie downs are there. 
all the parts where it should be, as far as I'm concerned, on the BC2C are, are on it. The firewheel is nicely well moulded, as is as is the the uh, the induction manifold pipe, the induction the air induction manifold pipe, as is the camera. I don't know if you're picking it up, but the cylinder banks, the cylinder banks on each side of the engine are exquisite, are exquisite, are exquisitely moulded, um, very well. I have to say these are they were very Airfix have done, Airfix you've moulded those the the RF one engine, the RF one engine very well. Um, I, some of these components I do know. I, th I think that component there, component 14, I'm pretty sure it might be the tail skid. For the tail skid, I could be wrong. No, it can't be because component 220D. Yeah, that is that bit component fourteen is for the tail skid. I'm not one of I'm not built a biplane in the wrong world, gent. So I don't really know the components of a biplane very well. Um, whatever component thirteen is. On screw A. What's A thirteen? I bet it's not for the other part. Oh, A13 is also for the tail skid. I knew that, really. So A13, you've got bits for the tail skid. you got bits for the tail skid, bits for the engine. Overall, they are very nicely detailed. You've got the pin for the propeller, the reduction gearbox for the propeller as well. Um, so yeah, overall it's very nicely done, Airfix. Um, no flash, no no flash, no short no short shot molds. Ejector pins, from what I can see, are um, yeah any the ejector pins are from from Airfix rather. Uh, nicely done mold. Uh, nicely done mold. Nicely done molds from Airfix. Nicely molded from Airfix. Ejector pins, from what I can see, are virtually out of the way somewhere where you won't. Are all internally, so you won't see them. So yeah, that's the low wings, engine low wings parts of the engine and the cockpit floor landing gear on that sprue the last sprue you have got the top wing again finally the 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 fabric detail on the wings is nicely done not to not done not done not overly done but not underdone sort of thing the wheels are nicely done one piece wheels so you you know so painting those is going to be a uh, painting those is going to be a, um, a bit of a funny uh, bit of a challenge for me but I like challenges uh, then you've got the sump for the engine sump for the RF RF1 engine You've got the two seats. You've got the two seats. The floor, the seat floor for one of the floors. You've got the you've got the the air intake. You've got the rudder. I think you've got the earlier type. Here you've got the earlier type of rudder. 
you've got the four spar the, the eight the one two one two one two three four five six seven eight spars the lewis machine gun for the night fighter version and some some ball spars for the night fighter version and this is what i was saying in the instructions components 10 components 10 and 20 on components 10 and 20 components 10 and 20 10 and 20 components components b1 and b2 these are the guides to put the struts into the top wing so you rest this against the top wing but you do not glow this on so that's that sprue that's that sprue give you a closer look at it and I did just hear the clear spray uh, so yeah that's that so that's the top wing sprue with the top the sprue with the top wings the wheels the bottom of the engine the, the cockpit interior the top and bottom of the engine interior and the struts and the pilots and one of the rudder peat and the rudder and one of the horizontal stabil vertical stabilizers as well as parts as well as parts for the night fighter version of the b2c That sprue is mainly cockpit floor, again, strikes for the night fighter version, and then all these components are for the B2. Um, that is for the, that's rudder, that hot vertical stabiliser there, I just realised, is for the B version, if you do the B version. Um, but other than that, the majority, the majority, you're going to be reduced, I'm going to be, when you build this kit, Jazz, you'll be using the majority of all this sprue, except these two components if you're building the ava uh, the the turnhouse edinburgh the turnhouse Aer aerodrome version so yeah that's that sprue it's another quick look second sprue and then obviously the first sprues again contains the fuselage, the tail planes, the propeller, and the forward, and the and the set of two, and the forward and aft sentry fuselage mounted um, struts. So yeah, that's the that's the fuselage sprue, the sprue with the fuselage component with the majority of the fuselage sprues. Um, Last but certainly not least are the two windshields. The two windshields, nicely done. Um, nicely done. They're nicely done. Nicely done windshields. Crystal clear. Crystal clear, no distortion. So you can see those very well. You can see through those very well. Um, and they should take paint very well as well. So yeah. Now the only final thing to review are the decals. Decal, there's your decal sheet. You get your so there's this is all your the all this checkered pattern. All this checkered the checkered pattern one is is the turnhouse aerodrome version. Oh, so you got the the raw flying core roundels and the and the fin flat and the and the and the rudder and the fin and the tail fit and the rudder flash there. 
Um, you've got the versions for the. You got the ver. You got the. You got the. Twelve Squadron version there. And obviously with the 12 Squadron you've got the Union Jack decals and the, the mint and the small RAF round uh, raw flying core roundels. And then you've got the ink and up in the top right hand corner you've got the you've got the the two decals. You've got the three decal. You've got the, th the three decals for the instrument panel. Oh, so, yeah, that's your kit. Um, that's your kit, pretty much. packed away, so everything's nice and safe, so that when I come to build it, I don't lose any of the components. And there it is. That is the that was my effort. That was, was my my review of Airfix's one seventy second scale, um, F one seventy six second scale Royal Aircraft Factory Blario Experimental Two C. Um, good little kit. It's recommended for. I think you know. Uh, I, I you know this is a this is a it's a skill level two kit. So it's a it's. I would say it's more. It's it might be a uh, it's, it's more. It's not. Uh, it's more for a um an advanced. It's not. It's sort of in that category of 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 going from a beginner to an intermediate. Going from advancing from beginner to an intermediate modeler. But like I say, I, I'm, you know, I, uh, you know, I've never built a, I've not built biplane. I've built a few biplanes before, back before I started filming on YouTube. But I haven't built a biplane for a long while. So this will be interesting. This will be an interesting challenge. Um, like I say, as I said at the beginning of the video, thank you to Emily Hewton and Adam, uh, Emily Hewton Airfix and and. Uh, at Airfix and Adam at uh, Emily Hewton at Airfix Ho at Hornby Hobbies and Alex and Adam um, at, at Airfix for sending these kits out to me for free. And like I say, they haven't paid me. They sent this kit for me, but they haven't paid me to say what to how to what to say or or what to do, sort of thing. So yeah, that was. That was my review of my one thirty second of my. That was my review of the of FX's one seventy second scale Royal Aircraft Factory BE two C. Um, before I end the video, use your business. Paint your hands and gate paint. Paint your hands and face. Glue your hands a case.
Have fun. Have fun. Have fun. Stay safe. Don't know, parents. Stay safe. Be happy and enjoy modelling. Until my until the first update on this. Thank you for watching this review, and I'll see you guys on the first update. All right. And thank you very much to everybody that supported me over the years on Facebook and YouTube. And I'll see you guys on my next video. All right. Bye.